Let me cut this out. What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? It's your boy Silky Black. I'm back in the fact. I'm back in the house and everything. Uh, yeah, I couldn't find that line for that real quick. But how y'all doing, man? It's your boy Silky Black. I'm back up on the track. I don't know how to act. I do it like this and like that. Yeah. I'm solo dolo again tonight, baby. Oh, we got everybody up in there watching, you know what I'm saying? They, they jump straight, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> hey, y'all, what's going on? Yeah, we got a lot to talk. We got a lot going on, man. We got a lot going on. I ain't gonna just jump into it like that. Uh, next week, I need, I need y'all to watch next week. Next week, Monday, actually, the show is on my birthday next week. Yes. And it's going down, just like that. My birthday, I'll be the big 42, 42 years old. Might not look like it, but it is what it is. I ain't scared to say my age. Matter of fact, it's my, my cousin's birthday. Happy birthday, Nate. All the way in Las Vegas, California. Nathan. I tried to call him there. I think I, I, I messaged him on Facebook. I usually call him and sing a happy birthday song to him. Since I couldn't give him a damn to sing happy birthday. Y'all gonna sing with me? I'm ready. <clears throat> happy birthday. That's, that's all I'm gonna give y'all. Y'all gotta pay for the rest. I gotta pay for the rip. But yeah, man. It's hot out here. Y'all, y'all stay safe, stay hydrated. I got my big water today. Mm. Gotta stay hydrated. Yeah, I am getting old. And my feet and stuff be hurting. Yeah. <laughs> Joe Mika, I seen your little brother and sister graduated this this week. I DJ they uh, party. Congratulations to him. Congratulations to him. And uh, yeah, out there in Orange, Texas, we did it big out there. You know what I'm saying? That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Um, want to shout out to my nephew Akili. Y'all give it up for Akili. Y'all holding down on the tech side of the game. What's up, Chris? What's up, Ty? Claire? Clara? I think that's my, my new cousin. Oh yeah, we had a family reunion this weekend. And uh, it was pretty good, man. I didn't know we had that many James in Houston. Right here in Houston, there's a whole bunch of us over here. There's a bunch of Shad and Yeah Babies all right here in Houston. <laughs> and uh, I met a couple of them, I met one. Matter of fact, I got a cousin. If y'all can't go to my um, nah, I ain't no part of inviter. <laughs> if y'all can't go to my uh, Instagram and look at my cousin, I got a cousin, a new cousin that sings opera. Amazing, no real opera, opera. She know the language and everything. I don't know. Uh, she she's been studying for a long time. And she's a professional, of course. If you can go look at that video, you can tell she's a professional opera singer. Wonderful, blew my mind, out of this world. And I didn't get her name and everything. I wanted to bring her on the show. I'm gonna see if, I'm gonna see if I can bring her on the show. I got another cousin that lives in Baytown I wanted to bring her on the show too. It was just a lot going on. I got 
but I still get in touch with them. They go, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna make it happen. I'm gonna make it happen, man. I'm gonna make it happen. But yeah, shout out to the James family, the Baptiste, the uh, Edwards, all of them, all my people out there, baby. Yeah, it was good. It was good. So uh, I'm gonna need y'all to call in and talk to you, boy. Oh, I put the number wrong on there, Keely. <laughs> Can you edit that? I put my personal number on there. Y'all already know my number. Y'all don't need my number. But the show number is, click on the dots. The show number is, uh, no, just edit. The show number is 713-714-7670. Seven one three seven one four seven six seven zero. That's the shot. But this is what I want to get into. It's right at seven o'clock. Oh, I'm gonna have some. I'm gonna have some people on here. Maybe next week. I don't know. And uh, they gonna be promoting their products and stuff and getting them out there. And I want y'all to support them. They got a lot of people around here doing a lot of stuff. And we just got to get them out there, man. Houston, we got to move. We got to get this going. But, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a big movement around here. And if I can help, I'm, that's what I'm going to do. I'm super black, and that's just what I do. I never do. But anyway, call and talk to me. They go, Akili put the number up there, 713-714-7670. What's up, Frank? Frank joined in. I see Marlon. What's up, Marlon? Uh, yeah. Now, I know a whole bunch of people have seen this video. And if not, just go on social media. Uh, go, go on social media and find it. It's this lady was riding a white lady riding around with this little black girl in the back of an SUV in a dog kennel. Okay. A dog kennel. Now, <laughs> you got, if y'all see this video, it's, it's disturbing in a whole bunch of ways. Because first of all, you got a little girl that's riding in an SUV in a dog kennel. The little girl's big enough to ride in the in the seat with a seatbelt and everything. And the thing is, she climbs out the car, the uh, the dog kennel, and it's like she's okay with it. Like that's what this is what I ride at all the time. So what happened is they can dish. Cause sometimes kids want to do stuff. Kids want to do stuff. And they don't know no better. So it's up to the parent or whoever to say, no, it's not a good idea to do that. You know, it's not a good idea to, for you to ride in a dog kennel when you big enough to ride in a seat with a seat belt. You don't even need no car seat. So why is you riding in this dog kennel in the car? So the little girl gets out and, and she's like, oh, la, 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 la. Uh, you know, I don't know what she's saying, but she she looked okay with it. And that's what I'm saying. They done conditioned this baby to ride in a dog kennel to think it's like the norm for normal. It's, it's like normal behavior. This is not normal behavior. Uh, so somebody say she was arrested and that was her grandmother. It don't matter who it was. Her grandmother, her grandpa, Whoever it was, that's not acceptable. You don't put no kid in no dog kennel. And then she, if, if she did want to be in there, who, I mean, who's the grown up and who's the child? Let them know. It ain't okay to ride it. Get your butt in that back seat and put that seatbelt on. Done. Just like that. So, yeah, she needed to be arrested. And uh, the, the little girl needed to. Go to her parents or, or somebody somewhere else. That's what I think. 
Yeah, the kennel was made for a little dog. My cousin said the kennel was made for a little dog. And this girl was way bigger than a little dog. So, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. That's probably, probably like the dog probably peed and doo-doo up in there. Uh, I know it. I, I don't know. It's just not a, it's just not a good look. First off, it's not a good look for the, for the little girl, for the grandma or whoever she was to be riding around with the little kid in the camera, man. It's, it's ridiculous. What is, what is it coming to around here nowadays? If you gotta give these kids whatever they want and don't give them no kind of guidance, I mean, what's the point of being a grown up? Might as well let the kids run the show. And there it is. For that, y'all can call in. For that, if y'all have something to say. Or if I don't miss something. 713-714-7670. Uh, y'all can call my personal number if you want, but it's not gonna ring. <laughs> take it off with it. Can you take it off? Not yet. Uh, okay. But uh, yeah. So that that's that's one of the things I'm gonna keep going. They have uh, they had a cop, another cop, a gang, a gang of cops beat up this one guy, punched him in the face like they was in a boxing match, and uh, they had. Surveillance cameras, they had video cameras. And um, I guess they were, somebody called the cops on the guy. No, the, the, actually the guy came to help his friend. He had nothing to do with nothing. He was just helping the friend out. He was about to take the friend to, uh, I guess, home if he needed to go home. And uh, he was waiting there, so the cops told him to stand up against the rail. So he stood up against the rail, he was on the phone. You know, such and such, this and that, that. He was on the phone. So they told him, back up against the wall. He backed up against the wall. So they told him, sit down. He didn't sit down, I guess he said, why, this and that. that. So he kind of squatted down a little bit, bent his knees, leaned his back up against the wall. Next thing you know, a left hook made his jaw. Pop, another one, pop, pop. This time his hands is down by his waist. He's on, he's knocked out. He's steady going down the wall. Sliding down with his, sliding down his back on the wall. Pop, left, boom, right, boom, knee, knee, elbow, elbow to the face, took him out. So in, in, in saying all of this, it's like, is that type of force needed? I mean, we see it all the time, it's happening way too much. It's happening way too much. It was maybe five cops beating down one guy. And the reason was because you didn't sit down. The whole the whole thing wasn't even about him. It was about his friend and he was going there to help out, but he ended up getting beat up and beat down for no reason at all. It's, it's happening way too much, man. It's happening way too much. I think the guys, the cops got suspended or whatever with pay. It's like once you beat up a black guy, you get a paid vacation. So it's like, what, what am I waiting for? Let me go out here and beat me up somebody so I can get a paid vacation. I'm working too much anyway. I don't know what we're going to do, man. What we're going to do? Because right now we like, I ain't worried about it. Next week, somebody else, I ain't worried about it. Next week, it might be you. Could it be you? Could it be me? Hopefully it ain't me. <laughs> Hopefully it ain't me. They gonna have to come up and then get me. They gonna have to come get me. <laughs> I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be throwing them bowls too. Y'all gonna be like, who the black was throwing them bowls? They did. Until they hit me with that taser. God! <laughs> it's gonna be a wrap. But, uh, 
Yeah, man. Uh, what's up, Rochella? Rami? That's, I think that, that's Rossi boy, ain't it? <laughs> what's up, Rami? Uh, yeah, and that leads to this. Okay, the cap, everybody see the cops doing everything to people. Not just to people, to black people. They doing they doing it to other people too. And uh a guy, if y'all if y'all didn't see this story, this is real disturbing. Real disturbing. I don't even know what to think about this. It's actually horrible. Had me having nightmares. I've been having nightmares for three days. Because I saw the story Friday. Okay. They have a couple inside of a, a, a sandwich shop, whatever the sandwich shop was. I ain't gonna say my name, because ain't nobody dropping on check. So it was in the sandwich shop, uh, two, a couple standing there. And so a black guy comes in, he's standing in line, waiting on his turn to order his sandwich. So, he orders the sandwich. No, no, he's, he's standing in line waiting. I guess he's looking at the menu or whatever. And uh, so the dude in front of him kind of looks at him. And he look again. Next thing you know, this guy pulls out a pistol. Fricks the guy up and down, grabbing his crotch, checking his waist, patting him down. And this guy ain't even no cop. Then he tell the dude to order your sandwich, hurry up, and get out of here. People think this is okay to do to do black folks like this because they see the cops doing it all the time. Now, a lot of people are saying, "Oh yeah, well, okay, this guy, I would I wouldn't even bought that. I would just left. Okay, if you if you would have just left, it would have been see. Now uh, you guys see, I was just saving you." from this criminal. First of all, he had a gun on him and he telling him, order the sandwich. Order your sandwich and get out of here. So I don't know, I don't know what I would have done. Everybody can say, everybody can say, yeah, all I would have did is that you don't know what you're gonna do when you got a gun pulled on you right there. You don't have no gun on you going there to get you a sandwich because you hungry. And somebody pulled a gun out of you or just a regular civilian? Pull a gun out on you to cause they cause they scared, paranoid, probably doing something they ain't supposed to be doing. Probably ain't have no gun license or nothing. They just packing a gun. I, I could be wrong on if y'all if y'all know some of the story or more of the story. Let me know. Call in 713-714-7670. But from what I saw, it's a regular guy with his wife or whatever, girlfriend. Maybe it was a boy, I don't know. But you you in the sandwich shop, you scared of people. You got a gun, so you pull it out and frisk somebody like you somebody and, and tell this dude to hurry up because you scared of it. I don't know what it's coming to. I don't know. It, it, that was horrible. You know, what do you do in that situation? Okay. Marla, what you do? Joe Mika in that situation. Frank? I don't know. Somebody let me know. Ronnie? I don't know what I would have done. I would have probably just did what he did. I would have ordered my sandwich and I would have got up out of there. Because you, you, that's what you went in there for anyway. So, him with a hoodie, I think, I, I guess people are thinking it's a crime to wear a hoodie. A hoodie and glasses and be black. That's a crime. All of that's together is a crime. You're a gangster. You're a gang member. You about to rob you. you that was a hard he ought to whoever that guy was that pulled the gun, he ought to get life from prison. No, no, no. Give him 70 slashes. Let that guy whip him across the back with a wet bull whip 70 times. I think that's fair. Yeah. He didn't hurt him physically. He probably hurt him emotionally. 
probably scarred him for the rest of his life, so let him get scarred for the rest of his life. Top, string him up, whip him in the back with either a leather belt, barbed wire, or a bull whip. You get to pick. You get to pick your weapon. A chain. He asked him if he wanted a sandwich. Oh, <laughs> ask him, hey man, you want a sandwich too? <laughs> yeah, I probably would have did that too. What, what kind you want? You want white or wheat? Yeah, because you got a gun on you now. You got a gun pointed in your kidneys. You don't know what to do. Probably crap my pants. Nah, I don't, I don't know. It's getting, it's getting bad out here in these streets. And with with the with the cops beating us up like this, it's giving everybody the okay to do what they want. That's why all these people call the cops. Oh well, he's he's standing on the corner, um, and, and I'm afraid. Then the cops come and wrestle somebody down because they're waiting on the bus. Or oh, I'm calling the cops. They're not supposed to be barbecuing over here. Cops come, somebody get wrestled down because of somebody, what somebody else said. Or, like another lady called in the other day. Uh, the guy was working, doing, I guess he was doing lines. Hey, CC. Doing lines in the parking lot. You know how people do paint the lines in the parking lot. The lady was like, a regular lady. What are you doing here? I need to know that you work here. The dude's like, you don't need to know that. Nah, people know I'm working here. The people that hire me know I'm working here. She wanted to see some kind of ID. Like, better go on. Better go on about your business before I drop this elbow on you. That's when they can start happening. As soon as they start dialing, just drop that elbow on Make them drop that phone. Best they won't be calling nobody no time soon. That's what I would do. Okay. Drop the mail phone. Drop the mail phone. But it's getting to the, the cops. Cops showing up for everything. Music too loud. Cops. Walking too fast. Cops. He's riding his bike too slow. Cops. He, he just dropped the trash out of his trash can. Cops. He's eating that Burger King. Cops. He's trying to barbecue. Cops. They swimming in the swimming pool. Cops. 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 K O P S. K O P S. K K K. I don't know. I don't know. What y'all think? Let me know if I'm if I'm tripping. I might be tripping. I think y'all might think I'm tripping. Let me know if I'm tripping or not. What's up, Cotton? Uh, yeah, but it's getting it's getting serious out here, man. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm thinking of a master plan. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get these rappers together so they can do another song like uh. Self-destruction, but everybody, uh, everybody want to beat. What's good? You got it. What's up, Jennifer? That's my cousin. <laughs> That's my Louisiana cousin. Yeah, everybody beefing. Y'all beefing, and this is going on. We don't have to. They don't even have to do it. We doing it ourselves and being doing. It. Can't get together. We're trying to. Well, I. I'm trying to trying to get them together and do something instead of constantly beefing, constantly killing each other. We just we just going out quick, quick. We need help. We need y'all help. Can y'all help me help somebody? Can y'all help me help somebody? Help me help somebody. Mm. So call in y'all seven one three. Seven one four seven six seven zero. That's the call in number. If you want to call in, come in. 
on any of those things we was talking about. 713-714-7670. Yeah, and y'all can talk. Y'all be on here. Y'all be on the show. Uh, you know, do it like that. Just call and say hi, especially next week. Next week, my birthday. So I'm going to need y'all to call in, sing happy birthday to me. That's my, that might be all the show, what the show is about. Just call in and happy birthday to ya, silky balloon. Yes? No? <laughs> Maybe, y'all. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah. This is what this is something else I wanted to talk about. Now, I'm not, I don't have a way to do it now, but later on I'm gonna have a way to show y'all exactly what I'm talking about when I'm talking about it. Uh, but now you just have to uh, either look for it later. Or I don't know, but it was a little girl on social media who was posting new pictures of herself on social media and somebody videoed her catching a whipping by her dad. Now, y'all gonna have to call in and tell and talk to me about this. Talk to me, y'all by myself. Come on, let me talk by myself. So the little girl got caught by her daddy posting new pictures of herself all on social media. She was all on social media. You could imagine, I can't even tell you, because I ain't seen the picture, but you could just imagine that daddy caught a daughter doing stuff like that. So, if the women don't know, let me tell you, in a male's mind, his daughter can't do no wrong. Mm -hmm. And when he knows something like that, or he sees something like that, he loses a little bit of himself. And when he disciplines this child, Anger comes out, hurt comes out because he's hurt. Uh, he's he's scared what's gonna become of his little baby girl. He's scared of a lot of stuff that can happen to her. So in him trying to correct her and protect her, he gave her a whipping with a belt on her backside, not up upside the head, not uh choking her out. He whipped her with a belt. She had all the clothes on. Me, myself, I thought it was okay. He did go a little long, but it's okay. You'd rather do that than her not respect anybody and just do anything they gonna end up putting her in jail anyway, or they gonna beat her up. Nobody, nobody says nothing when they beat people up. Right. They, they killed Paul Lil Tamir Rice in two seconds. Killed him. So I don't think a butt whipping is all that bad. She's still living to tell about it. And it is no, it's really no problem. But you got this little girl doing all kind of stuff on social media. Her daddy found out she kept a whipper. She she catch a whipper. It was probably about 80, 80 something licks. I, I think I counted 80 something. I don't know. But it was a lot. I might have not did it that much. But I understand. I understand. I understand the hurt, the pain in his daddy's whipping when when he did what he did. And a lot of people, my couple of my friends, CJ, if you're on here, come in. Uh, Tanisha, husband, I forget his name. Uh, he was coming, and uh, they were saying that if it was their, their children, one was saying if it was his daughter, he would have did the same thing. He would have handled that pretty similar. The other guy was like, he don't believe in 
uh, I guess it was, he said it was like a slave, like he don't believe in slave discipline. But a lot of people don't. And I don't think that was slave discipline. That was just discipline. She had on the clothes on. She wasn't tied up to a post. He was holding the whipping on the lower part of the body. And uh, if, if you can't understand that, I don't know what to tell you. Because a lot, a lot of people got spankings, whippings, and they, they better for it. Some people just hard-headed and they don't want to listen. You just got to let, let that sheep jump in that river and take that ride. Got to let them do what they want to do. But if you can prevent it, you try. You try and try and try to prevent whatever you think is bad. And you can see, a lot of parents can see if it's bad or not because they've been through it before. And they just trying to, they just trying to stop their child from going through the same, same thing that they've been through. So, uh, you know. But discipline, people discipline their kids. Like uh, one of my friends was saying, that's the old way of discipline kids. You don't do that anymore. I said, well, that was an old way to her. It had to be brand new because if she had got a whipping like that before, she would have never did what she did again. <laughs> and that's the whole point of that. What's up, Jeremiah? What's up, Kendall? What's up, BJ? Yeah, thank y'all for joining in. Hey, y'all gonna have to tune in next week. My birthday next week. I want all birthday songs. Call in for my birthday. 713-714-7670 and sing happy birthday to me. That would make my day. <laughs> so next week at this time is gonna be my birthday. Y'all don't forget, I'm gonna post it on Facebook. And plus y'all gonna see it on, on Facebook. So, yeah. But right now we're talking about the little girl that got a whipping on Facebook, a lot of people were saying it was child abuse, and uh, I don't think it was. And uh, if it, if you think it was, call in and let me know. Let's talk about this. 713-714-7670. This is Talk Up, and we're going to talk about it uh, if you want. <laughs> so call in. Let me know what you think. Like I said, me myself, I don't, I don't think it was child abuse. Now it's a good thing he grabbed the belt because if he didn't grab a belt and he just went at her with them fists and he was already super upset like that, it could have got real ugly, and that's what you don't want. But he did use a belt, and somebody was like, "Yeah, he was already, he was already whipping her when the video started." Yeah, maybe. It might have just started. It might have just started as soon as the video started. You don't know. Nobody knows unless she was there. Unless she was him or her. Did you get whipped or anything? I don't think so. So a lot of people say, yeah, it was child abuse. It was child abuse. Nobody saying it was child abuse when a little girl crawled out the back of the SUV out of a kennel. I don't see nobody up in rage about that. Now that's child abuse if you want to say something that's child abuse. I don't know how you think that's okay. And what I'm talking about is okay. People crazy. I'm going to say y'all face, y'all crazy. Ain't nobody, uh, ain't nobody playing with y'all. I'm going to let y'all know that was crazy. Now the little girl catching the whipping, that's what she get. The, the little girl climbing out the uh, dog kennel, that's that's not appropriate. That's not what she's supposed to get. Somehow that's, somehow it's twisted. Oh, oh, I know, I know the difference. A black man did one and a white lady did the other one. So I guess that makes it okay. BJ say, but that's what's wrong with the younger generation. They they know the power of a whipping. What you mean? 
They don't know, I'm sorry. They don't know the power of a whipping. That's right, BJ. They, the pop, if, if I only got whooped like that once, I would never do whatever I did again. That was right. She got towed up. I'm gonna tell y'all, it wasn't child abuse. It wasn't, it, was, it wasn't child abuse, but she got told it was a good whipping. She got a good whipping. That's what I thought. And the lady, the lady that had the little boy, had a little girl in the dog kennel, she should get one of them publicly. The dude that pulled the gun on the dude in in, in the sandwich shop, he should get one of them publicly. And the little girl ain't gonna be able to do it to the grandma, so they should pick somebody out of the community to do it. I volunteer. I volunteer to whip her, cross her back with a leather strap or a bull whip. I think I can do that. I think I'd be, uh, I wouldn't want to be called an executioner. Uh, you can call me the whipper. <laughs> call me the whipper. Because that don't make no sense, man. You, you trying to get a sandwich. Somebody to pull a gun out on you and felt you up fish you down because they scared of you. And nothing happened to this guy. If, if y'all know about anything happened to this guy, please let me know, because I don't know, but something should have happened immediately. Because this boy didn't have no gun. He, he got molested in the sandwich shop in front of everybody. Uh, hey, Lisa, hey, Ayana. Hey, Shanae. How y'all doing? And, uh, yeah. Felt him up in front of everybody. And people was coming in and he still had the gun out, pointing it at him, talking about order your sandwich and get out of here. Like, what kind of stuff is that? Who approves this stuff? type of stuff? What's up, Kevin? I'm like, man, I don't, I, don't, I don't know, man. Gotta be careful. We were saying about this before, uh, you know, not to be in fear of going anywhere, but like you go, you go in the uh, sandwich shop to get a sandwich, a regular guy pull out his gun and molest you in front of everybody and make you order a sandwich. You don't even know what you want now. He just, he had to, he had to kind of confuse those side. Give me a waffle with cheese. Man, we don't have waffles. I need a waffle with cheese. He had, he had Subway trying to order a waffle with cheese because he's scared to death. He probably messed in his pants and everything. This guy pulled a gun out on him. Yeah, Shanae said she saw that when it was crazy. Yeah, it was crazy. But we 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 don't do nothing, but we wanna we wanna support all of these. Uh, rap battles and uh, housewives shows and our little girls riding around in a dog kennel with their grandma, with their white grandma. And uh, hold on. I don't, I don't remember that one. There was plants. She said somebody was uh, play boxing outside his grandma's house and got put in handcuffs. But I did see, I did see that. Uh, what's up, Drake? I did see that cop trying to uh, arrest that little skinny black dude, and he dumped him on his head. I was like, oh no, got him, got him. He came up with a, a blue, a red strawberry on the back of his head. At first, he was kind of dizzy, and I got scared. I thought he was going to shoot him. I was like, oh, no. And the other guys was like, oh, no, you done messed up. Massa mad at you. You shouldn't have did that. Massa going to get you. I'm like, wow. These niggas, you know, instead of them trying to uh, get the situation 
underhand, they backing up recording and and talking about how he was messed up. Dude laid on the ground. See, they do have good cops out there. Sorry, he was the one that had to get dumped on the back of his head. But uh, that might have taught him both a lesson. But uh, he didn't shoot him. He made him lay down and put his hand. He Actually, he didn't have, even pull his gun out. He pulled his taser out. So the dude went on ahead and laid on the ground, put his hand on his back. The dude was still dizzy. He, was, he had knocked him out, really. It was a stand-up knockout. So the uh, the cop went over there, put his knee in his back, and put his hands behind his back. He's trying to put the handcuffs on him. Tell you the truth, the cops couldn't even find the dog on the handcuffs. He was out of there. And uh, yeah, the video went off after that, but he didn't. He still didn't kill him. So big ups to that cop who didn't shoot that young brother for. I got was defending himself. I don't know. The cop was way bigger than him, and he got on his back. He was trying to. Uh, he was trying to. I don't know what happened. It was the video just started right there when he picked him up and dumped him on his head. And that's a, that was a little dude, man. He must have called on the powers of Wakanda. Wakanda forever. And dumped him. Man, I'm like, yes. I, in the back of my mouth, I was like, yes. And I was like, oh, no, he's going to kill him. But he didn't. So good job, police officer, for doing your duty and taking this guy in, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. But, uh, you saw that one, y'all? <laughs> they say it looked like, uh, I don't know. But, um, yeah. Had a lot, they got a lot going on there. Uh, she just shared something. I don't know. You put too much on your back and I can read it off. <laughs> Help me out of here. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, they had a little girl riding the dog killer. Y'all can call in. You can call in if you want to. The number is 713-714-7670. Call in and talk to me because I can't read all that. It's going too fast. And they got people, you know, I'm trying to talk and read and all at the same time. I can talk to you, though. They said it looked like the, uh, it left. See? Uh, the boy. <laughs> I didn't see the other one that left. But it's okay. Yeah, so the guy in the sandwich shop, he ought to be caned or whipped. The police officers that jumped the other guy. Need to be caned and whipped. The, the little girl, they got caned and whipped for showing nude pictures all on social media. She got what she, she got caned, she got whipped, so, you know. Like I, like I said, that grandmother that had a little girl in a dog pen, if y'all if y'all volunteer me or I volunteer myself to whip her publicly, well, let's make this happen. We can call out. We can set up a, a public whipping. Yeah, I wear this jacket. I wear this whole jacket. I put my hoodie on just like this. And I come out there. Give me a black mask. Well, black mask, matter of fact, it'll be red and blue. Red and blue mask like this. Just my eyes showing. And I have my belt. And I'd be like, what the hell? She'd be like, yeah, yeah. What the hell? How many seconds, however many seconds it took for the little girl to get out that truck, that's how many lashes she get. It took the little girl probably about 10 seconds to get out. That's why I can lash her 10 times. I'm so weak back. Just like that. What the hell? That is. But, um, 
But uh, oh, had another disturbing video I saw. Oh, I'll be I'll be getting these videos. Um, a lady was babysitting a baby, man, and uh, the, the mama brought the kid to the elevator. Brought the kid to the elevator and dropped the kid off to uh, the babysitter. The baby was crying. I guess the baby knew. <laughs> the baby knew that uh, the, the babysitter was a bad babysitter. So he was like, oh no, I'm going to her again. Soon as the elevator closed, the lady started punching the baby in the stomach, man. I can't make this stuff up. This lady was punching the baby in the stomach. Then she threw him down in the stroller. Then she started punching the baby in the head. And, and shaking him up and down like, what in the world is going on, man? And she was a regular babysitter, so the parents trusted the lady. I'm like, oh my God. What's up, Ellis? LSA, LSA Pootie Tang, man. <laughs> That's right. I would make a pull. I wouldn't make a pull down all the way, short, but because that probably would be disgusting. So just halfway, and I and have a shirt pulled up to a neck. You know, go straight up to your neck like that. And you really can't move. What? What? Oh yeah, a wet bull whip. No, I not wet. I put uh, motor all on. Yeah. Poo. Four of them should be passing out. Jay. Uh -oh. Just like that. That'll let that'll teach you not to put no baby in no dog on dog house. You don't let them, you don't you don't make them kids ride in dog houses. You don't teach you that. And that's what I told them before I commenced to wrapping that whoop around her back. But, uh, it's hot in here, y'all. That, that chair, I got that chicken light on me. I'm trying to get good lighting up in here. That chicken light hot. <laughs> I'm sweating. I got my water here. It's my birthday next week. I want y'all to call in and sing happy birthday, y'all. Call in happy birthday. Do a duet with me. What else we got? Yeah, so y'all got to be careful on who y'all let y'all kid go go to as far as babysitting, y'all. Because if y'all see that video, that was disturbing. Very disturbing. Oh, shout out to uh, Robert De Niro. He was on some award show. And he told Donald Trump, F you, you, you orange, carrot, shape, colored. MF, he told him a bunch of stuff, but you know, Robert De Niro don't care. He, he about 90 anyway, so he really didn't care what he said when he was younger. So he did actually, he was on some award show. If, if y'all know the award show, call in and let me know or something. But yeah, he, uh, he called in. I mean, uh, he, he was on the award show. He told uh, Donald Trump, he said, F Donald Trump. I wonder if Donald Trump is going to tweet about him. You know, he never retaliated with tweets on white folks. He never did that. Am I right, Kenny? He never did that before. Hmm. Ain't that so? Ain't that so? I wonder, I wonder what he's going to tweet about this. I don't know he know about it. He probably was there. I doubt it. He probably on the golf course. But he never, he never retaliated on anybody white. I'm trying, not trying to make this a color thing, but it's the truth. It's the truth, man. The truth is right there. Look at it. Look at it. What you looking at? But, uh, yeah, next week, Monday. The 18th, June 18th. It's gonna be my birthday. I might have some guests on. I might not. I might be by myself. I might not. You know, cause I can roll solo dolo all day. 
It's simply black. I don't know how to connect with every way. I told the people saying they love it. Not black. That's black. That's black. Yeah. Shout out to my mama. Now my mama was here this weekend. We had a nice time at our family reunion. They had crawfish. They had barbecue out there. We was right there at the Marriott. We had food all day. We had opera singers. They had guitar players. They played Zydeco all out there all day. It was nice, nice. Found out we had some uh, famous people in our family. I don't, I don't want to say no names. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Found out that, so maybe I might post a video of that whenever I get it. Because it was nice. They showed our family tree and where the people come from, how we got here. Great grandparents, great great grandparents, great 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 grandparents. And, and how we came about through these people, through these amazing people. Uh, we got a, a cousin that suggests that we should get our DNA test done. Um, he lives in Baytown. His name is Mark. What's up, Mark? What's up, Trakeel? And uh, so, yeah, we we, uh, we had a good time. Out here, got a whole bunch of cousins out here. But that's it, y'all. I'm about to go. But make sure y'all tune in next week. Next week is my birthday. Don't shout it. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. So I'm going to need, hey, I'm going to need, for real, I'm going to need everybody to call in and sing me a happy birthday song, man. The phone is on. The phone is working. Phone is working so good. I think I'm gonna end with my uh, with a song. My song. I wrote. I wrote, produced, <laughs> and made the whole beat to it. But uh, but I thank y'all for watching, y'all. I held it down. Sugar Black. Ellis, thanks for watching. Ty, Trakel, CC, Marlon. Thank y'all, man. Give me a thumbs up. Just hit the hit them thumbs up. Trakel, you still there? Hit them thumbs up for me. Thumbs up, likes, likes, loves, all of that. See how fast y'all can go. On your mark, get set, go. <laughs> all right, y'all. They probably ain't even got it yet. Let me see. I know they get it. I'm tripping. Okay. But uh, yeah, we're going to end with this song. And uh, matter of fact, I'm going to put it at the end. Ah, here they go. They got the lights. <laughs> they got a little delay, so it's cool. It's cool. We're going to end with this song. Thanks, Ellie. Ellis, whoa, whoa.